Hello, in this video I'm going to show you an uh, easy way to add realistic film grain to any photo or video. And we're going to be using Camera Bag Pro here. And I've got this photo already loaded. Um, this photo originally looked like that and I've just added a saturation and tone curve adjustment to make it black and white and have a little bit more contrast. Makes it easier to see what's going on with the film grain. Um, let's zoom in to actually this section over here uh, with this model's foot and hand and some of the background in black will show the film grain really nicely. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go down to the adjustments and under photographic you'll find grain. And clicking on that, um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it uh, with the compression in the video, but you can see especially in this sort of uh, half gray background, uh, when I toggle this on and off you can see it's added a uh, very subtle film grain back there and this emulates the look uh, that you know old um, uh, film cameras when uh, especially when shot in low light conditions the, the lower the light the more film grain that you would see in it and it adds a beautiful softness to photos and camera bags method of adding film grain is modeled on that and so it doesn't just use an overlay image and overlay noise on top of it it's a much more complicated process that emulates what actually happens with real film grain to cause that noise, that uh, noisy look. Um, so let's zoom in on this a little bit to see what's happening. So with camera bags film grain, you can um, adjust the amount, which will just basically turn up the intensity. If you turn this up really high, and if you, again, if you looked at a real um, image of of film grain close up. It would have patterns that look very, very similar to these. Um, you can sort of kind of pick out little sort of wormy shapes and, and stuff like that. But there's um, several adjustments that we've put into here to make it so that you can emulate the, the very specific grain that you're going after. Because all those different films from the analog era each had their own, you know, chemical characteristics that would make the grain look different. And so... Um, one of the adjustments we put into camera bag to, to be able to emulate each of those is this uniformity slider. And as I turn this all the way down, you can see it's kind of like it makes the grains less dense and more spread out. And as I drag it up, it's like they're more dense and more uniform across the image. And so uh, between the density, which controls that, and then the, the scale, which will just make the grains bigger or smaller, uh, you can emulate pretty much any um, film grain that you can come across. And an, another thing that you can do is uh, there are certain film grains, film grains that are a little bit more complex than that. And what you can do is you can add multiple instances of this film grain effect uh, that are essentially at different frequencies. And by layering those on top of each other, so this one by itself looks like that, this one by itself looks like that, if I layer these on top of each other and they have different scales, then um, I can really dial in the very precise film grain that I want. And so, um, also, let me just show you that under the presets, um, we've pre-made a bunch of different film grains. So you can see this whole list. And what I'll do, I'll zoom back in here. And I've got these effects pinned here, so as I go through these presets, it'll just stack on top of this, uh, this black and white effect that I've made. But if I click, say, on grain A1, uh, that one's a very subtle one. I'll, whoops, I'll toggle just the grain on and off, and you probably can't even see in the video the difference between that. But as I arrow down through the different grains, this can be an easy way to just sort of find a, a film grain that looks great for your photos scale and characteristics and so I can just arrow through these uh, I'm just pressing down on my keyboard or up to go back up you can see down here the preset name is is showing up and then I can find one that I really like um, and go with that and you can see that some of these have a little bit more complicated so this this particular preset grain g5 has added a grain and a sharpen and so um, there are lots of little things with blurs and sharpens that you can add from this adjustments uh, setting or section. You can see there's blur there, sharpen right there. 
And also, when you add these in the order of the adjustments, like if I add the grain before the saturation and the tone curve, that can make a difference also. So there's lots, like I say, lots of different uh, tweaks. And so um, Cameron Bragg's film grain is just incredibly dynamic and able to, um, to emulate, like I said, basically any film grain. Um, and another great feature with Camera Bag Pro, um, let me just add this particular, I just hit the plus button to uh, add this saturation and tone curve to my session presets. Um, if I go to this video that I've already got loaded at another tab and load this, this will put on that, um, the, you know, the higher contrast black and white filter onto this. And let's go back down to the um, film grain presets. And I'm just going to arrow through these to find a nice looking one. So this is a video. Um, and I can scrub through it. Uh, as I scrub through it, you'll notice the grain. I, I don't know, again, how well you can tell on uh, after this video has been compressed and on YouTube or whatever. But the grain, um, it's not dancing from one frame to the next. It's staying static. Um, but if I hit the space bar to render this, how this would actually render out, um, then uh, the grain starts dancing from frame to frame and is different from frame to frame. So when you render this out, um, the, the film grain will behave as it actually would in a movie shot on analog film, and it will dance around and give a nice beautiful softness but it's uh, really handy to be able to use the exact same um, the exact same settings and workflow to have film grain on your photos as it uh, happens on your videos and of course if you find a particular combo you like you can save that as a preset either as a session preset by just hitting the plus button and then those will be deleted each time you close and reopen camera bag or by hitting shift and the plus button, you can save it to a permanent preset if you want to use it across sessions. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.